I Serve Africa has been in existence since 2007, and our mission is building gospel connections, connecting young people with opportunities of mission with each other, with Christ and with a vision for the gospel. We are thinking God's mission, fruitful impacts to generations, and partnerships in the ministry. Our thrust has been to get young people equipped with the gospel and hopefully that they will pass it on. Our main programs are the Graduate Apprenticeship Program and the Transformed Discipleship Program. These two are geared towards helping God's people become servant leaders in all aspects of life. Let us hear more from the Transformed team. Uh, my name is Lucy Thierry. I work at ISA of Africa, to be precise, in a Transformed Department Program. We seek to equip the students with uh, different life skills. We also do mentorship and we are also involved in teaching God's Word. My How we do this? Lewis Mutueri and I work at Eyes of Africa Transformed Department to be particular. Transformed is an exciting program for those who have just finished their Form 4. Uh, it's normally uh, a six-month program that is meant to equip these dear ones with the Bible, uh, with the Bible and also a few life skills here and there. But how we do this, we sit with the children through small group Bible studies and we help them to be able to understand the Word of God and we also encourage CBR, that is continuous Bible reading. Apprenticeship has been our flagship program over the years with over 200 young men and women who have trained and served amongst our placements. This is what the current apprentices, alumni and staff have to say. My name is Peter. Uh, Kamau Kekunju. Uh, I do serve here in ISA of Africa, uh, leading a graduate apprenticeship program of what we call uh, GAP. Fresh graduates coming from colleges, been recruited to get a taster of how it looks like to be involved in ministry for a year or two. Uh, the big aim being to train them, to equip them, and to connect to ministry opportunities. We see clearly that through the trainings, their own minds is being impacted, their own heart is getting convictions about the priority of the gospel and how to think of themselves. And their own hands is being impacted so much so that as they go out there, whether that be directly in what we might call ministry or even out there in the corporate sector, we are hoping that actually that they are actually transformed to be able to do that kind of work in a way that actually has a different uh, perspective. Uh, my name is Gilbert Otecha Maneno. Uh, currently, I'm placed in uh, Arusha, Kenya. It's in Kilifi County, specifically in Watamu. Arusha, Kenya is uh, an organization that deals with conservation. Uh, we conserve the environment, uh, Arabuka Sokoke Forest. My name is Esther Wanjiko Maina. I have been placed at St. Joseph Shelter of Hope Mission Hospital in Voi. I am a clinical officer by training. So at the hospital, I conduct consultations in the outpatient department. I also assist in the inpatient, conducting ward rounds and performing some inpatient procedures. I'm Gladys Atieno. Atieno. Uh, I'm placed at uh, Christ Gift Academy in Bita. And uh, there I work uh, under the student's care department. And My name is Evelyn Njoki Wenaina. I come from Kiambu County. I am placed at Tana River, Madogo, at a school uh, called Tumaini Academy. Even the children there, they really need the gospel together with their guardians. They are having a lot of challenges, a lot of background. Some of them have lost their parents. Some of them are, are living with needy parents. Some of them, their parents ran away. And therefore, you find that the only solution that can be really helpful to their hearts is the gospel. So my name is Immaculate Kiragu. The one thing that I still hold dear to is my understanding of the gospel. Um, the one year really changed um, for me as a Christian. I got to have a very um, good and proper understanding of the gospel that has kept me all through, something that I am forever grateful to God for. Well, there is a great connection between creation and the gospel because we do believe that God is the creator of uh, heaven and earth and everything that we see was created by God. 
And so when we go out to interact with the community, talking to them about conservation, when you're talking to someone about the trees, when you're talking to someone about the ocean, you'll always initiate a conversation. Wow. Our sole purpose of being uh, gospel workers is to ensure the gospel is heard. Our work over the years has grown into the regions where we seek to grow more gospel collaborations throughout Kenya. And now we do have offices in Northern Kenya, Western Kenya, Nyanza, Eastern Kenya, Central Rift, Coastal Kenya, and Mount Kenya region. To hear more about regional work, here's Patrick Muhia. RMS is regional ministry staff, uh, is work that is done by ISAV in the region, which involve mobilizing for the work, uh, working with churches, other organizations, but also recruiting apprentices and students for transformed programs. We go to the universities, basically the Christian unions of the different campuses in the region, and we are there to talk with students, to identify them that have a clear call for ministry, and perhaps to move them to want to serve God for one year or two years. If they're interested then, to offer them the opportunity to apply and join our friendship program. The missions department, one of our newest departments, endeavors to help us process next steps in ministry engagement after apprenticeship. Where is Ice of Africa playing part in active missions? The uh, missions department uh, in Ice of Africa came about after a period of thought because uh, over the years we have been noticing a move um, where people want to come to do our apprenticeship program for one or two years and after they do that then they are asking what's the next thing, where can I be involved in the mission field, what can I do for God's people and God's work and so then we thought then it's an important bit of the work and also a strategic one because once you are done with um, the two years of apprenticeship and you're asking what's the next thing you can do, then mission department is able to answer that question. In order to keep the organization afloat, we have personnel who work to see that stewardships of resources is achieved. My name is Emily Komakech, um, working at Ice of Africa as the operations manager. So this is um, what we call shared resources for the organization. So our main work is to ensure that um, our programs are well served. And how we do this is uh, ensuring that uh, we have received the finances and we have released them for the different programs um, that are required and that are run by the organization. Our key duty, I would say, is uh, stewardship of the organization resources uh, because we need to be accountable for every coin that comes in and every coin that leaves the organization as well as uh, taking care of the employees. Uh, we have enjoyed uh, great partnerships with all our local and international supporters. Uh, these are the people who keep us going and who help us to be sustainable uh, financially. So we do appreciate everyone uh, who supports ISAV Africa financially and we are committed to ensuring uh, proper stewardship for all the resources in the operations department. We realize that this work is only possible when we work with others in the field. Let us hear comments from friends in sister ministries about the work. Thank you so much. My name is Kimadi Francis. I work with uh, Medical Missions Africa as the national administrator. Uh, firstly, I must say thank you to ISAF Africa. Our partnership uh, spans a number of years and that has been very great. Uh, we receive the apprentices from, uh, uh, from ISAF Africa every year. And uh, when they come with to us, we've been, they've been really helping us in office work, especially where administrative work is required, and also in the field, where we, they help us in running the mission fields. We work together to touching lives of people in the field. And uh, so far, it has been great. Uh, we've enjoyed being with them, training them also in the mission ground and all that, and it has been great. We have witnessed an increase in the number of young people we serve through our programs over the years, and this has necessitated the need to have a permanent training center with conference rooms as well as accommodation. The team leader of ISAF Africa has a better way to render this. My name is Harrison, um, and in the Lord's goodness, and uh, I serve as a team leader for ISAF Africa. It's been my great joy to see this organization grow from its inception, from when it was just an idea in the mind, um, to now serving very many young people, uh, both um, in Transformed and also in the Graduate Apprenticeship Program. 
but also reaching out to many pastors, equipping them for ministry. Um, I think when I look back, I'm just so grateful to God. We have seen a lot of change over the years. Um, not so much in terms of infrastructure, but in terms of what we think is changed lives. Uh, people who have understood the gospel better because of this ministry, people who, whose lives have been transformed um, and who are bearing fruit as a result of their interaction and of their time here in ISAV. And for that, we give God all the glory. Where is the organization now headed into the future? I think we are living in a very uncertain times, what uh, people are calling the VUCA sort of season, the volatile, sort of unstable, changing um, sort of world, really, where it's very difficult to project into the future how things will look like. But one of the things that we are very confident about is the goodness of God. Uh, through it all, we are confident that the Lord is going to hold our hand. We're not changing anything. The very thing that um, the Lord has called us to do, that is indeed to seek the transformation of uh, people's lives through the gospel, that's what we have been seeking. That's what we'll continue to do. And into the future, that's uh, what we should be doing. And we might have to change some of the um, way in which we conduct our trainings, uh, in order to fit into the present realities. For example, a lot of our training has now gone online. Um, a lot of our content is now needs to be shared in digital platforms. But um, the content remains the same. The convictions are the same. The persuasion is still the same. And that's what we want to keep on doing, to call on more and more young people, to equip them for gospel ministry, and to set them out so they can actually do that even better. Um, and, and that's what I would love to invite, you know, all uh, our friends, our partners, near and far, uh, to join us um, in this assignment, particularly in the second phase of the building project. Uh, we do hope that uh, we will be able to raise the much needed um, 250,000 US dollars uh, to be able to put up phase two of the training center. I would love to uh, invite you all to come on board and partner with us. Thank you.